so much everyone who came out for uh, the launch of uh, Safe Sex. We're so excited to have y'all here. Uh, we're so excited to have uh, creator and writer Tina Horn here. Uh, so excited to have Tina here uh, talking back with uh, Melissa here at Grant. Talking back. Talking back. <laughs> um, it's, it's a great time. Thank you all for being here. Uh, my name's Joan. I'm the events coordinator for Lee Stockman's Bookstore. Shout out um, to Joan. <laughs> You're really sweet. Thank you. Um, yeah. Thanks all for coming out. Um, we're really excited. Uh, this comic is super important. Um, there are like what, like maybe two sex worker comics made by sex workers out there. So this is really, this is super, super cool. Um, when y'all get a chance, uh, we have it by the register down there. Uh, make sure y'all get a, get a copy, um, which you're already in the like second print run of it, like just coming, like it literally came out today and we're already in a second print run. So uh, this is pretty, this is pretty cool. So yeah, thank you everyone who's already got the comic. Thank you to everyone who's helping support uh, queer sex worker stories. Um, uh, if you haven't been to Blue Stockings before, or if you have, welcome. Uh, we're a queer and trans run space. We're a sex worker run space. We're a anti-capitalist space. We've been here in the Lower East Side since 1999, making this year 20th anniversary. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. There's, there's a few books in there. There's, there's some. Um, yeah, if you like what we do here, if you like the events that we put on, the book curation that we have here, and you want to help us keep our lights on, uh, we definitely appreciate support from y'all in the way of uh, uh, donation. Either we have a little donation jar here. Uh, we also have Police Stockings memberships, which you can pay a small monthly donation and get cool stuff like our pink tote bag, membership discounts, which get you 15% off everything in the store. Um, all that cool stuff. It's and you get to help a uh, queer and activist space like this one keep running. Uh, the Lower East Side is not cheap. We are a entirely volunteer run space, collectively owned. Uh, we are a for profit bookstore, but that does not mean that we make money. Um, so, uh, any anything that y'all can give definitely helps out a lot. Uh, I'm gonna pass around this donation jar real quick. It says ten dollars suggested donation, but anything that y'all can give is appreciated. I'm just gonna pass that. In. Thank you. Um, yeah, and we can get you set up with memberships at the register. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, along with all the other, yeah, also just like buying books, just like we're, we're a bookstore. So like 80 to 90% of our sales come from books. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I will not take up any more of your time. You're perfect. As <laughs> uh, Tina Hoare hosts and produces the Kinky Sexuality Podcast, Why Are People Into That? <laughs> she is a Rolling Stone reporter, the author of two nonfiction books, the writer and creator of the sci fi comic book series Safe Sex. Tina has lectured on sex work politics and queer BDSM culture all over North America. Um, give it by Tan for Tina Hart. <laughs> and then Alyssa. Uh, is the author of Playing the Horror, the work of Sex Work, which you can also find at the counter over there. Um, she's been a contributing writer at The Village Voice and Pacific Standard. Her work has appeared in The Guardian, The New York Times, BuzzFeed News, New York Review of Books, The Nation, among others. Um, her essays are collected in Best Sex Writing, The Feminist Utopia Project, and Where Freedom Starts, Sex Power Balance, Hashtag Me Too. Please give it up for Melissa. Thank you, Joan. 
Thank you. I'm going to get right on top of the mic. Yeah, me. That's okay. I might even just hold it. Um, yeah, I, I, uh, it's been a while since I've been a volunteer at Blue Stockings, but I am uh, an erstwhile volunteer. Maybe I will have time to dedicate to that again, but I'm, I'm currently a member. So if you want to be more like me, then the place to start is becoming a member of Blue Stockings. Um, yeah, hi guys, how are you? <laughs> Thanks for being here. Um, oh, I wanted to say photo policy wise, um, it is totally fine with me. Is it fine with you, Melissa, if people, I think we talked about this already, but I, mean, I just I'm wanted to demonstrate. Stream, so yeah, yes, we're live streaming, so if you okay. don't want to be on my Instagram, uh, don't walk, don't get on the tarp. Why do we have a tarp? Is it gonna get messy in here? You will see soon. Uh, yeah, so if you wanna take pictures or video uh, of us during this talk back, which is gonna last for about half an hour and include a Q&A, so please save your questions, not statements in the form of a question, but to actual questions uh, for the end, and we will have time for that. And. Uh, yeah, and if you want to tweet anything or Instagram anything during the presentation, uh, please tag at Blue Stockings NYC, right? Uh, and at Tina Horns Ass and at Melissa Jira. Cool. Does that sound good? Like a good community agreement? And of course, implied in that is that you won't take pictures of anyone who has not consented to have their picture taken. You also won't touch anyone that hasn't consented to be touched. You guys get the drill, right? Yes. Cool. Awesome. So, Mosa, why don't you take it away? I'm so excited. Thanks, <laughs> you're talking. No, it's fine. Um, and your intro was fantastic because I was going to point out, like, you are like the ultimate multi hyphenate media. Yes, but can she dance? Point, but <laughs> she can. And I don't know where to start. I mean, well, one thing we should talk about. So Tina and I, it's sex working lives have intersected. That's true. Long ago. Um, and <laughs> long ago. <laughs> in, the, in the same vicinity in which this comic takes place. And one of the people who actually helped shepherd this comic into being, Lauren McCubbin. Shout out um, to Lauren McCubbin. She wrote a book with Michelle T, which might be for sale here, called Rent Girl, um, that I was reading in the years when our sex working lives intersected in the Bay Area. And that was about all there was when yeah. it came to you know graphic novels or comics that were by sex workers about sex work. And what I also loved about it was it was deeply ambivalent 